This video is going to demonstrate the installation of Blackout on a Linux-based system. As you can see, we have SSH'd into a console, and the package has been delivered into the temporary folder. First thing we do is unzip it. Everything is put into its own folder called Blackout. If we look in that folder, it should look very familiar for those of you who have seen the Windows installation because it is actually the same delivery. The same delivery works for both Windows and Linux. Uh, first thing to note, though, is there's a readme in case you get lost or need more information. Lots of information in there. And if you do not have Java already installed, it has been included in third-party software. For Linux, it's been ins uh, included as an RPM. It is 64-bit Java, and it is version 7. Version 7 or greater is required. It doesn't matter if it's 64-bit or 32-bit. Just check, make sure Java is installed, and it is. So from here, we can go to the bin directory and run our executable, which looks like, due to the packaging, has not been marked as executable. There we go. Blackout.sh is the Linux command that you will need. And if you run it with the no arguments, it will show you all the possible arguments you can use. First, we're going to test to make sure it actually does work in the foreground by running it with console, and this is the expected output. So control C to quit that. We're ready to install then, so install, and it's done. Oh, whoops. And it shows up at the right at the top. <coughs> Blackout, and it will be turning on on normal init uh, levels. Very good. It's installed, but it is not running. If you wanted to run it, run with start, and it's up and running. However, it's been installed in the temporary folder, which is a great, which is not a great place for a uh, production server. So we're going to uninstall the service and then reinstall it once we move the folder. So first, we're going to remove it. Automatically stopped and removed. If you want to look at check config again, we can see that it's not going to be at the top of the list anymore. It's been removed. And now we can move the folder to somewhere else. I like opt. And from here, we're going to reinstall it by doing the same process. So we know it works, so we're just going to run install. The service is installed and we're going to run start to start the service. That's it. We're done. Blackout's installed. Thanks for watching.